Today I will be pouring on glass. Now this is the top of my outside door table that I just removed. It's about um, 24 by 24 inch square. And what I did to prepare it was clean it off and then rub some rubbing alcohol all over the whole thing. And that's all I'm doing to it. So I'll be pouring the paint directly on it. And I'll be using some different stuff here. I'm gonna be using the wood stain that I used for my terrace so that it has a color that fits with my decor. Now, this is acrylic paint. I've tried it once before. It does not react a lot, meaning it doesn't create cells or anything like that, but it does give a pretty cool finish. And I'll be using three um, cups of white, which, are, which is two brands of white acrylic paint, one being the Artist Loft. I'll be using some Color Shift by Folk Art Purple here that a friend gave me that I can't find anywhere. I'd have to buy it online, but it's not in any store where I live, which sucks. But I have some now, so I'll be putting that in there. I'm going to have some Dioxide Purple, and I'm going to have some Turquoise Blue. Now, maybe you can see there, there's a little black line there. That's how much paint there is in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Liquitex pouring medium, which is the only thing that I'll be adding. I will not put any in this paint here. I don't think it needs it. It's pretty liquidy already. I'll just add a little tad of water to it. So I'm going to add the pouring medium. These ones, I haven't mixed them up yet, so I'll add that in after. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare my paints and I'm going to show you, I'm going to make another line when I'm done preparing this color so that you can see how much water has been added. So just give me a minute, I'll be back. So you saw how much pouring medium I added? The first line is a whole bottle of this small deco art and the second black line is how much water I've added in there to get the right consistency for this color. Remember, every color reacts differently and needs a different amount of water to get that right pouring consistency. So, boom, there you go. So, I'm going to start this now, and just keep in mind, it might look weird at first because it's see-through. So, you're going to see, like, on the floor in my bins and everything, but I'll start pouring and you'll see the paint as usual. So I ended up measuring it because I said 24 by 24, but I, I thought it looked smaller and it's 22 by 22. And I have plenty of paint left over here. I have a full cup of white and I only finished my, uh, my purple, this one here. So, and I also said that the um, stain didn't react. I remember saying that because that's what happened last time. And look how it's reacting here. Now, I don't know what's going to happen after I've moved it around, but in my face, if it, this thing creates cells. 
Okay, so here I go. Now this thing is freaking heavy. I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to use the rest or uh, well, some of my white paint to put here instead of tilting it and like ruining it because I like it like that. This thing is so freaking heavy. Alright you guys, so I'm going to finish this up. I'll leave the camera on to see if it changes. Loving that color shift purple, right? Oh, damn. Okay, and I'll see you guys later. So this is about two hours later and I just cannot stop staring at this painting. So much has happened and here is my analysis. First off, that wood stain there. This is what happened last time. I had huge blank areas and some of this cracking stuff had happened and over hours and hours. So I don't think this is the end of these changes here but I hadn't gotten any cells and there's some brain-like cells over here that happened. So that has to be my white mix that was spot on. Now the two brands of deco art that I used, the light blue and the dark purple, completely got lost. They like, there's a little bit on the sides here and there's some of that dark purple up there but generally, probably the wood stain and the color shift is just so much more powerful, it wiped out the deco art. But there's just so much going on here that just I needed that blank space. Now check out the color shift. You can see right there how different the color is. And who would have thunk that it would have reacted so much like this? I need me some more of that paint. Check that out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why don't they sell this anywhere here? Now, like I said, it's going to continue probably changing a little bit. Creating more breakages there, like that white part but I will be showing you the dried result set up on my table and I have to admit I have no idea what product to use to protect this from the Sun and I want to use the best one out there because I just love this <laughs> so if any of you guys know what I can use to protect this as best as possible for outside please share do that part over there. Not in this. All right, so overall look. Stay tuned for the dried result. So check out my table. It's all dry now and it dried so, so quickly once again. And everything is pretty much exactly the same. I'd say that there's a little bit more of those little cracky effects there. You can see that more happened. And the purple came out a lot here. And it came out a lot over here too. Which is awesome. Look at that madness. Now, 
I cannot say it enough, you guys. The key to crazy effects like this is mixing brands. Now, you see that color shift purple all over here? How different it looks in different areas? It's all the same paint. Now, what happened here is this paint kind of is unleveled there. You can see how it dried, but because of all the craziness happening everywhere around it, I'm not going to freak out about this at all. It's the time of the year where the paint doesn't dry properly and it kind of fits, you know? I'm going to go with that. It fits with the rest because there's just so much happening. Now, how am I going to finish this baby so I can put it outside? I'm thinking of turning it the other way and putting the glass part on top. So I'm open to any suggestions and I hope you guys like this. Bye! Bye.